Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Winter Learn 25-Day Risk-Taking Experiment. I'm Harlan Cohen. Today is all about getting comfortable with the uncomfortable, and I'm jumping out of my chair. I am so excited. This is the lesson. Of all the lessons, this is the lesson of the lesson. I wonder if I'll say that again. In order to get where you want to go, you must practice getting comfortable with the uncomfortable because this is not going to be easy. This is going to be hard. You're going to be challenged. You're going to go after what you want. And the thing is, you might get it or you might not get it. And if you don't get it, that could be uncomfortable. And even going after it could be uncomfortable. But here's the thing. Today, I'm going to share with you a universal truth. It's a law of nature that is going to help you to reframe how you look at taking risks and how you look at the discomfort that is often a part of going after what you want, saying what you think, acting in alignment with your joy, with your light. I want to help you to do that. Now, I want to be very honest that when you go through this process, it's going to hurt. It's going to be hard at times. Like a boxer who enters the ring, the sport of taking risks is a sport that means you're going to get hurt. The physiology is such that when you face rejection, your body processes it the same way it processes physical pain. So it hurts. It really hurts. In order to be able to take risk after risk and go after what you want and still be able to move forward, you need to increase your stamina. You need to have the resilience. You need to get gritty. And that means being able to stand in, in the ring to be able to go after what you want and to increase your pain threshold so that you will be able to tolerate what comes next. Now, this is where it gets really fun. You're thinking, Harlan, this, this is fun. Like you think I'm sadistic. No, because it doesn't have to be so painful. See, you're going to feel all these emotions, the whole range of emotions. I should talk about being happy because the thing is, like, this is going to help you to be happy. It's going to help you to be balanced. It's going to help you to create so much more light in your life. But the process is work and the process can be uncomfortable. And if you allow yourself to feel it all, and if you give yourself permission to embrace it all, you're going to get through it. So just be prepared for the full range. I like to live by the 90-10 rule. The 90-10 rule says life's 90% amazing, 10% difficult, or a bunch of BS. If you fight the 10%, that's when you get into trouble. If you live 100 years, I'm giving you 10 years to be a curmudgeon. Now, the thing about discomfort, it's usually front-loaded, usually happens when there's change. A lot of times it happens when it's there's unexpected force change but it doesn't linger forever if you allow yourself to feel it. Now, allowing yourself to feel it can be really difficult because that's where there's so much discomfort and so much pain, but that's where I'm going to give you something that can help you to manage the 10%, to make it so it doesn't take up all your time. Because when you fight the 10%, that's when life becomes 100% a big pile of BS. But when you give yourself permission to feel it, when you allow yourself to walk alongside the discomfort, it passes. But it starts with embracing the 10% and giving yourself permission to feel it. If you have a history of getting hurt, if you don't like being uncomfortable, well, then you'll do everything you can to avoid the discomfort, which ultimately creates even more discomfort. Now, there is a law of nature that is going to help you along this process. You know gravity. You're familiar with gravity, right? Let me show you gravity. Whoa. <laughs> I wanted to like, here, I'll do it again. That's gravity, right? I should have used an apple. There is another law of nature that they don't teach us in school. It's called the universal rejection truth. The universal rejection truth says that not everyone and everything will always respond to you the way you want. Some people will like you. Some people will not. Some people will want to engage with you. Some people will not. Some people will appreciate your thoughts and ideas and vision and passion and creativity and all the things that make you you. And some people will not. The universal rejection truth is a law of nature. Understanding that there is this law of nature 
this law of nature that nobody can avoid is so powerful. And tomorrow I'm going to talk about why it's so powerful and how you can use it in your life to change your entire outlook. But today, just recognizing here, I'm handing this to you. I'm handing you the universal rejection truth. Because once you can understand this law of the universe and embrace it and welcome it into your world, everything changes. Now, there are many different forms of the universal rejection truth. Universal rejection truth of dating and relationships. Some people are going to give you what you want. Some will not. The universal rejection truth of marriage. Some marriages last forever. Some of them don't. That is just how marriage is. Universal rejection truth of being a parent, universal rejection truth of education, universal rejection truth of business, of learning, of sports, of finances. Once you can recognize that there is a law of the universe at play, you're able to work through the discomfort in an entirely new way. Risk taking doesn't need to be so emotional. And I'm going to share more in, in the next lesson about this, but information. Is not emotional, it's data. We make it emotional. And recognizing the truth and understanding how we respond to it and creating the, the dynamics in our life to be able to work through any outcome is how we can continually move forward and create and discover and find love and light and all the most wonderful things that are here. So you can be the most qualified, the very best, you could be interesting, attractive, dynamic, charismatic, talented, all intelligent, all the things that would make you desirable and wanted and affirmed, but not everybody's can always respond to you the way you want. Isn't that amazing? It's just, I don't know if you think it's amazing. I do because as I've worked with, with people over the years and as they have embraced this truth and applied it to their lives, the past it's not so it's not so uncomfortable anymore the present becomes more tolerable and the future future oh man it's so bright because beyond rejection is light rejection is as normal and natural as breathing at least breathing like this i don't know anyone who breathes like this this picture but this picture demonstrates breathing but rejection is as normal and natural as breathing and it's not a sign that you are not good enough or not worthy, it is part of the process. So how can we get great at getting comfortable with the uncomfortable so that we can allow ourselves to face this discomfort and move forward with confidence and clarity, turn rejection from something that's dangerous into something that's curious, that makes us curious, that's interesting. Now, here's the thing, you can fight the truth. And when you fight it, you hate, hide, attack, deny, blame, shame, give up. You know people who do this all the time. You might be one of these people. There might be parts of your life that you fight. There might be truths that you don't want to face. And when I was asking you, you know, what risk do you want to take? You know, as we go through this, like those are the areas. Those are the areas that we that we can play around with soon. But first we have to start practicing acknowledging this truth, facing the truth. Because when you fight, it's miserable. It's miserable. Hate, hide, attack, deny. But when you can welcome the truth, when you can face it, the world changes because you're able to process what comes next. And when you go through the steps that I'm sharing in this book and you practice, you become so strong. You become so resilient. You have an enormous amount of emotional stamina that you can continue to stay on your path and you're able to help others along the way. Please share a painful rejection from your past. How has this impacted you and your ability to take future risks? So I want you to reflect on, on something painful from the past, some form of rejection, universal rejection truth that you might have encountered. And I'd love for you to share that with me. And what I'm going to do is use these examples to help you to understand the power of the truth and how you can reshape how you look at discomfort, past discomfort, present discomfort, and future discomfort. So please share this with me. You know all the places to get a hold of me. 
the Facebook group. I'm always there. I love seeing you there. Please share, contribute. You can also find me on social media. And also, please, this is really cool. You can invite people to participate in this experiment. It's ongoing, so share the link, share your experiences. I'm so grateful to be here. I look forward to hearing your stories. And as always, I look forward to being in your corner. Thanks, everyone.